So the Ascendant Arena IIP, you know more about this than I do, but I just want to kind of get the thought process that went behind this. Cause I mean, it, for anyone who doesn't know, SJ is on the gaming sub council for Alluvium. So he had a very big role in coming up with this Ascendant Arena IIP. So just what was the thought process, you know, behind the scenes coming up with, uh, or the changes for the Ascendant IIP? Okay, so the team came to us with this IIP. They had been thinking of making a change to the Ascendant Arena from the standard of what we had known before of stage one alluvials being used as stage threes. They felt it needed a change, so they came to us to write an IIP for it. And they also introduced a free rotation that players could use, which would have a certain amount of alluvials and augments in it, um, in order to just kind of supplement your deck. And these would be rotated on some sort of time basis that needs to be tested and determined to figure out the best situation for. And then in the gaming council, uh, I decided that having pre-built decks was actually a good idea in order to help onboard new users into the ecosystem. Something that every card game does where you get to learn the mechanics of the game, play it for free, and then decide how much more you want to get into the game. How strong are these decks going to be? I know I heard they were going to be less competitive, but is this going to be something where people might start playing these the free decks and just decide that that's all they want to do and just come in every day and play the free decks? What's going to incentivize them to actually go out and catch these alluvials themselves? So I know this was a hot topic in both the feedback thread and in the town hall talking about the, how powerful these decks are going to be. And the intent we're going to have with these is to make them fairly weak. We don't want, as you said, people to just only play the free-to-play decks. These are meant as strictly a new player onboarding tool. It's kind of like a try-before-you-buy type of thing. And of course, like if you are a skilled player, you might be able to do a little better than the unskilled players with the decks, but you're going to be capped out pretty early on because these are going to have mostly uh, stage zero or stage ones of tier zeros and tier ones. Um, you're going to have weak ranger weapons and armor. Like it's not going to be something that you're going to want to play for a long time in order to climb up the leaderboards. This, you're going to want to play it, learn the game. And then you're going to start getting a lot of losses and you're going to see other people's alluvials and other people's decks. And you're going to be like, well, now I need to go out in the overworld and catch my own. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I don't know what you guys have talked about with the Leviathan arena, but is that being talked about right now? Like, how do you see the differences looking between the Ascendant arena and the Leviathan arena? So previously, the one of the big differences was this whole stage one into stage three topics where the Leviathan, you did have to own everything. Well, now the Ascendant is kind of the same way where you have to own, if you want a Ramfire, you have to put, uh, if you want to play a Ramfire, you have to own a Ramfire. And the big difference now is going to be with leveling and stats. And so these aren't implemented into the game yet in the overworld, but all alluvials are going to have randomized stats from some sort of low range to high range. And they're going to have a big impact on how well they perform. And they're also going to be leveled up through playtime in the overworld and playtime in the arena. And levels will add to their power as well. So that's going to be the big difference in the Leviathan arena compared to Ascendant, where those stats and levels are normalized. Jimbo, any questions on this, the Ascendant arena? I know you're you're a big PvP guy. I think it would be good to just go over and explain how the rotating alluvials would work, or like how, how you see it working, or what their purpose is. Just give whatever information you think you can or is suitable for so that they understand the purpose yeah. of those. Will, will it change like the survival mode? Like every, I think it's just at what? At the beginning of the day, UTC time, it'll just rotate, you know, every 24 hours. So nothing is set in stone right now. We still have to discuss everything and come up with the actual plan. Um, it won't be every day because I think that's going to be too quick of a turnaround. The idea around the rotation is you're going to have your base deck, like your base Lubos that you've gone out and captured and, you play with some you might not have a lot of the most powerful ones you might not have certain ones that you've seen are good and might want to play with so you're going to see the free rotation and let's say it's on a weekly basis you're going to be able to build around your own deck and the rotation alluvials and build something that you normally wouldn't get to play with and then maybe after that week is over you decide hey i really enjoyed playing that maybe it used a ram fire so now i'm going to go out and i'm going to try and capture my own ram fire so i can continue playing on with that deck or if you want more variety the next week's rotation might have different units in it and you'll decide hey maybe i could build a deck using some of these new ones in the rotation that i don't have okay and so just to be clear there's actually two different rotations right because there's there's the free decks do the decks have any rotation or are those just the standard decks and then it's the free rotation of a certain amount of alluvials each time. So they're completely separate. The 
free pre-built decks are not NFTs. You cannot use them anywhere else. Um, they're not rotating. They're okay. just going to be some set weak decks that you can play to learn the game with. And okay. maybe when new sets are introduced in the future, then these pre-built decks would change if there's new like traits and mechanics and stuff that you need to onboard to teach onboarding players. Then we could readjust the decks, keeping the same power level, but just changing it up a little bit. Um, the free rotation units are going to be only available in the arena. You can't use them anywhere else. So once again, they're not NFTs. You're not getting anything for free. You're getting to use them. You're not owning them. And I think that's a big distinction where you're not actually going to be hurting the market because you're not being gifted any of these things into your wallet.